So this particular assignment that we are talking about is uh, something like an essay or an article and hence I'm going to create a rubric which is basically a very simple uh, sample rubric. Of course, when we uh, give our assignments to students, we should really think upon how to formulate the rubric so that the student can understand it well and also can accordingly make his or her submissions. So the question is an essay question and let's uh, fill in our first criteria. Uh, you can have a total of 50 criteria per rubric and 10 levels per criteria with this facility. So the first criterion that I'm going to fill in is, let's say, the content. Now here you can give an optional description for this criteria. So this corresponds to the content component. Now, after this, we are going to start creating levels for this criteria. So this is like how good you are scoring on the criteria. So let's say I will give you a maximum of 10 points for this criteria. The title here corresponds to excellent. So if you did excellent on the content part, then I give you 10 points. After this, you provide a brief description of this level. So what do you have to do to be able to be excellent in the content part? So uh, the content was up to date and well written all or let's say the content is up to date and well written all recent advancements are covered so if you write something like this you get 10 points now if you have to add another level to it then you need to click on the plus icon so you click on plus and let's say my second level would be giving you five points if you are moderate on this component or average on this component of course you can create any set of levels that you feel so excellent very good good average below average poor weak whatever you feel is relevant now a description so let's say the content is up to date but does not cover latest advancements. Let's add another level. So this will give you three points. So I say, let's say below average. So the content is not well written and uh, does not really highlight the role of MOOCs in the education system. Now, of course, this is just random and I would not call it a good rubric, but depending on the assignment that you give and uh, depending on your understanding or parameters of how the student should frame his or her answers, you should actually fill this in. You can add any more levels if you like by using this plus icon. So this is, let's say, our first criterion and uh, a student can be either excellent, moderate or below average on this criterion. Now, if you want to add another criterion, then you have to click on this. So you say add a criterion. With this, you can add any more number of criteria.